Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 19 off of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then we'll unpause it and look at our answers together. So 19 simply states point P on the number line represents two equivalent fractions. Now that equivalent is going to be big for us because that's going to tell us what we're looking for. We have E-Q-U-A-L, so that means equal. So equivalent is another way of saying we want two equal fractions. Now fractions we know have two parts. We have the numerator. And so in our case, what we're looking for is the numerator is going to be the tick mark. So the tick mark is going to be those little lines between 0 and 1. And then the denominator is going to be the total number of spaces. The denominator is the bottom number. That's always going to be the total. The numerator can change sometimes. But the denominator is always going to be the total. In this case, we're looking at the total spaces or total sections. So for this particular fraction, point P, we know what it is. So it has it is on the first tick mark right here. So I'm going to have a numerator of 1, and then a total of 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. So I'm looking at 4 spaces between each tick mark. So this is going to be our fraction 1 fourth. It is 1 fourth of the way between 0 and 1. So automatically, we can go ahead and just get rid of B, simply because it doesn't have a 1 fourth. So what we need now is we need to find what else is equal to 1 fourth. There's another one we can immediately get rid of, and this is going to be A. Take a look at this. 1 fourth and 1 eighth. Remember, they need to be equal, so E-Q-U-A-L. Well, if I have two numerators that are exactly the same, I've got one piece out of four and one piece out of eight. They cannot be the same because this fourths, these fourth pieces are going to be a lot bigger than these eighth pieces. That is not going to work. If the numerator is the same and the denominator is different, then they cannot be equal or equivalent. So we have used our reasoning to go ahead and get rid of two answer selections, A and B. Now we're stuck with C and D. So 1 fourth, does it equal 2 eighths or 3 fourths? So let me show you a few different ways we can solve this. First, let's just draw a circle of 1 fourth. To me, when I want to represent fractions, I always like going back to circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade in here's my 1 fourth. And then I'm going to draw 2 eighths and 3 fourths. I'm going to do my very best to make the circles the same size. And this is going to give me a good estimate. It's not going to be exactly perfect, but it's going to give me a good estimate of whether one of these might be equivalent. So there's my fourths to make eighths. You just put an X in between the fourths. And we're going to do two eighths. Go ahead and shade the same sections if possible. And take a look at that. It does look like the two eighths is going to work. Let's see what the three fourths looks like. Three fourths. I mean, that's another one we can go ahead and eliminate because take a look at that, one-fourth and three-fourth. I could tell you that's not going to work. The numerators are not the same, but the denominators are the same. So each of these are broken up into four equal chunks. So one, equal, one piece and three pieces cannot be the same, so D is going to be wrong. This is actually going to be three-fourths on my number line right here. So it looks like my answer is C, and let me show you one final way just to make sure. I'm going to make a much bigger circle, and I'm going to draw my one-fourth. Fractions are equivalent if you change the size of the pieces, but you don't change the amount shaded. Watch what I'm going to do to make it eighths. I'm just going to cut that like this, and that like this, and now take a look. I have got one-fourth turned into two-eighths. So that is my answer. It is C.